How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, my buddy Matt here as well. And I'm getting yet another tattoo. We're, we'll find out what it is at the end of the video. Welcome to Retro Game Con here in Syracuse, New York. Now, convention hasn't opened up. We still got a couple hours before it opens. Everyone's really busy getting things set up. And I'm looking forward to just walking the floor a little bit before the show opens. Now, I'm not looking to buy anything right now. I want the people who paid tickets and waited in line to get in to get those first deals. However, I still like to look around and see what there is. And this is Retro Game Con. This is Syracuse, New York. They do a few things at this convention that a lot of conventions don't do. Uh, it might be a good idea to maybe take a couple of notes if you run a video game convention to see not everything they do, but there's just a couple of quick things that somebody can do that's, I think, really beneficial to uh, the attendee as well as the guests. First and foremost is to test your games before you pop them in. What? No, they're, they're, again, they're still working on stuff over here, so I just, I, I happen to walk by and see that. I was like, oh, I've seen that before. Maybe a little live open card surgery later today. We'll see. Like, one of the things they do is right when you walk in, they have a map and they tell you where everyone is. So if you're looking for a certain booth, looking for a certain guest, they will tell you right where it is. That's right when you walk in. So again, everything's gonna kind of set it up. There's a few arcade machines back there, some pinball as well, a lot of free play, lots and lots of free play. There's some esports going on way over there. There's Pat going on right there. He's the lead organizer. During the day, you even have live music, live concerts happening way over there. Celebrating a couple of anniversaries this year too. 30 years of Doom. Doom coming out 1993. Can you believe it? And here's a little uh, lifeline, including uh, this, this pile of fun. <laughs> Check it out, Doom. Super Nintendo, I played it probably mostly on the Super Nintendo, but a lot of people remember it on the old school uh, computer here. It's also celebrating 30 years of Star Fox. So, talking about like, well, we got Star Fox, you know, the Star Fox Ancestor 1986 on this one here, but you can kind of see this timeline with, you know, what's going on all the way down the way, all the way down the way. All the way down the way. I'm gonna put a little case of fun here. One fine thing I found just now is the batter up. This is an interactive baseball bat controller. Now this is the Super Nintendo version. So you're playing King Griefy or something like that, but you wanna get the authentic feel, well, semi-authentic feel for its time. <laughs> yeah, they got something like this. I, I love the crazy controllers. I absolutely love the minister for the Sega Genesis. That's the light gun for the Genesis. Such a cool looking gun there. Love this game here. One of my favorites. Oh boy, we have the Squishable. Some random Vita games here, Sword Art Online. Oh, look at this. Here's Odin Sphere. Oh, this was such a fun game. I like this game a lot. It's cool to see here. Oh, it's just the box. We know these guys, cartridges galore. They bring all of the cartridges. This is, they kind of, well, hold on. You know the booth is big when I gotta go all the way around it just to enter it. <laughs> it's, they set up, it's not just like a, they set up a little, like a literal video game store. <laughs> when you see these guys, when you see these guys at a convention, they just have a literal video game store in the middle of the convention. This is so cool. A Lolo 3. Don't see a Lolo 3 on conventions too often. Oh, this is a nice little uh, row here. Got Darkwing Duck. Oh, we got Gargoyles Quest 2. We got Great Wild. Oh, I'm just kidding. We. <laughs> and yeah, there's a fun, couple fun ones here. Copy of Jetsons just hanging out here. 300, man, I sold mine for like 100 a few years ago. Should, should've held on to it and sold it today, right? <laughs> you can never plan these things. Kirby's Air Ride, that game. Like, the, um, oh boy, Nobody saw that. Um, Kirby's Air Ride, that was a game that like, I used to find it for 10 bucks, 15 bucks. I remember I got it and then immediately traded it off because I didn't really care for it, but man, I'm glad I have one now. It's another one of those, I think it's just the Kirby games have all kind of gone up, but there's some great games in here. All the Resident Evils, there he is. Oh, check out the Tales of Symphonia. Only 40 bucks. Got Drill Land. I love to love the uh, form factor of these uh, import GameCube games. They're so cute. That's like a fun one too. I like this one a lot. Record of Lotus War. Fun idea. Console yourself soap. Like those guys. Oh, that's cool. I love the uh, little portal boxes there. Stardew Valley candle. Look how sparkly. Oh man. It does not, the, uh, the video does not show you exactly how sparkly this is. In real life, it's way more sparkly. The selection kind, sir. You always have a little bit of everything, including like TurboGrafx-16, including like ColecoVision 7800, okay. It's by a Famicom disk system or something, like Engage probably, I mean. Including the spam, the Figgy Pudding Edition spam. Now, good luck with that. That's that's all you, That's for, that one's for you. Giant tower of loose games here. Twin. Huh. 
Too many games kind, sir. Here's one that you never see, Summer Assault. <laughs> Such a unique game here. Oh, not, not too many people knew about this one. Not too many people ordered this one. That's fun. Yeah, I still have, I still have my copy too, but this is great. <laughs> He's calling you a scammer. I don't know if you just heard that. No. <laughs> They're clean! Knight Rider, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I brought a few fakes over there, so I'm, I, I got you covered there. The toy shop boys here. <laughs> Great import, uh, 64 game, Sit and Punishment. Like I just have a pile of random stuff and you just find the random Arkanoid controller in here. Is there, oh yeah. When oh, you got the, the, fishing the fishing controller for the uh, PlayStation here. You know, I could use a Super Nintendo. I, I could use a Super Nintendo mouse. Love the name of this game, Tanks But No Tanks. A couple of G.I. Joes. There's Hero. That's the Metal Jesus game there. Oh. I mean, kind sir, explain. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, perfect! It's like the the uh, the uh, complete set here. Yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the feces here. I could, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, here's this guy. Hey, John, what's up? I'm good. How you doing, man? I'm good. Trip was cool, yeah. and now I'm seeing what's all new. Yeah, Just love cool. these. Yeah. Oh. These are the new releases. I love it. <laughs> yes. I love it. You made that just for me. I know you did. I kind of did. I was inspired by some. I watched some new games. So yeah. Like, yeah. These games are great. <laughs> oh, there's some good stuff in here. It's such a great game. It's one of my favorites. Silhouette Mirage. Silhouette Mirage. That's the PlayStation One version. Could be. Well, it's not my favorite PS One game, but it's definitely up there. It might be a top five. Silhouette Mirage, and it's also the game that taught me how to spell silhouette, which is odd, kind of, because I have a silhouette portrait for label cutting, so I have to spell the word silhouette more than I ever thought I would. <laughs> That's a super fun one right there, too. Gates of Thunder. Or gate of Thunder, I guess. I keep on calling it Gates. It's just one gate. Through time handheld or something. A little bit of the old VHS action. I don't know if I need anything. But fun to see what there is all the same. Jason and the Argonauts. Everyone always talks about the uh, other one. Clash of the Titans. But I thought Jason and the Argonauts was all right. Well, these guys bring their own case and everything. Look at this. It's fantastic. I want to see these things. The lights are making my phone glitch out here. Box of Atari games. <laughs> oh, there's some good ones in here too. I like to see Quest. Oh, I played an unreasonable amount of Journey Escape when I was a kid. Oh, actually it doesn't feel terrible. Yeah, it's a pretty neat looking stick too. Yeah. You like your weird controllers, so. Big time. For the Super Nintendo cartridge that's compensating for something. It's, no, this is something different. Complete your games with a new manual. These are some fresh looking manuals too. Destiny of an Emperor. Yeah, just, I just love these old manuals here. Fact Sanity, great. Oh man, so cool. Uh, the thing's been open for about an hour and zero street passes. Zero street passes so far. Did people just forget their stuff? I don't know, man. Hey, I forgot my street pass, too. I know, that's the thing. Gotta bring it back. COVID broke my whole system. You know? Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got? You always got something cool. All right, Billy Time Games. This is the ultimate Marvel quiz test. Why? All right, let's see it. Oh, my goodness. Big tomato. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it! That looks just like me too. It's great. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's a documentary about fireworks. Yeah. Pass fire. Maximum load. Yeah. That's cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. So check it out. There's a digital download too. Okay. If you don't have a DVD player. There you go. Yeah, no, I love it. I do have a DVD player, so. Awesome. Yeah. Right, well, uh, I, I will watch this, I promise. All right. Damn it, Daryl. Why you gotta tempt me with it? Damn it, Daryl! Why you gotta tempt me? Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis version. Woo! James, you got an Action 52 for Genesis? I do, and I love it. Okay. <laughs> I love the Namco vest. Yeah, but, uh, the uh, situation with this is I work there. I work for uh, Time Out. Okay. So I'm a little younger than you probably. Right. Uh, back room, they had piles of these, you know, like, ah. like old vests from the early 90s. Right. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, dude, I love it. Revolution X. Is it not working? So I've had it as a kid. It's never worked. Never? For okay. For some reason, I left it in my collection, and I'm like, if I was going to give it to anybody, it would be It's never worked for you. Never and worked. how long have you had it? I mean, I'm 36. Okay, so, so like 20 years or something, right? 25 years. 25, 30, okay. 30, 
If this never worked, okay. Give it a shot, it's all I can do. There's some great looking jackets here, including the Samus hoodie. Welcome, Matt. All these earthworm gym shoes. Like gym shoes, but they're earthworm gym shoes. Like gym shoes, but they're earthworm gym shoes. We got this handsome devil here. But you always have the guy, I just love your, I love the physical stuff here. Including these bleed pixels. That's a new one for me. Beautiful. Isn't it? Oh, that's great. Might have to walk it's over like that. Celeste with more active combat. Oh, there we go. It looks great. Another great looking game here. Suck. I do. You're, who and, who you're, built this game? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Wait a minute. What's the weirdest thing you got? What's the craziest? It's like you won't believe the thing that we have here. That well, I mean, that would be the thing. Chicken range. Chicken range. Forty bucks only though. Right. Comes with comes with its own gun and everything. That's the weirdest thing I see here. <laughs> that, that's not bad. I like it. I can't tell you how amazing this game is. Prison City. It's available on Steam, Switch, PlayStation Five, Xbox. Such a, such a, such a good game. Yeah, we got any of those. PlayStation, Steam, Xbox, Switch. Grab a Prison City, it's so good. These are fun, I like these, uh, I like the customs. I love the bees. Those bees are great, oh, and these are great too. Fun little personal backpacks here, the purses. I like how these are looking. Oh, second like one of these I've seen today. Just about the best shirt I've ever seen in my life. So many Squishmallows. So many. Let's play stage walk for the main stage. It's just funny to see some of these great games like Mendel Palace, Fat Street Brawler. You know, nice selection of games here. You know, Digger T Rock and all that. But I've never seen so many of the Double Strike, Pyramid, Crazy Creatures, Dudes with Attitudes, you know, Death Bots. All in the same spot. Look at that. You really, you really are the best spuds. There's not even spuds though. They're cookies. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna decline one, but you know. Love these games here. Skyskipper, got Tutankham. I played a lot of Tutankham in the arcade. Fun to see on the uh, 2600 here. Something unique anyway, you got the blue label uh, Reggie Jackson. Few Turbo games, you know it's funny, you know Turbo Graphics is a rich man sport when even like the basic sports games are, you know, 20 bucks, 18 bucks, you know. Matt, for the Game Gear. Just like the arcade port, looks like it. That's what I like to see, $2 game bins. Two bucks for Venture, I love Venture. For two bucks? That's a deal. Yeah, baseball. Donkey Kong for two bucks just to have the, you know, ColecoVision by Nintendo. I see a Super Nintendo game. Of course. Would you like exclusive diet? How, how has nobody bought it yet? I don't know. How has nobody bought this yet? It's the best thing ever. Well, I don't know if it's the best thing ever, but yeah. it's only 50 bucks. Why would I need to spend 50 bucks on this? I can go to Taco Bell. Okay. This one is amazing. I love, this is actually one of my favorite wrestling games for the PS1. It doesn't play like any other wrestling game, but I love the grapple system. Um, where you have to like hold a certain button and the different ones grapple a certain way, and then from there you can do different moves. It's hard to explain. It's a selection of Vita games. There's been a lot of Vita games in this show. I really should do more with my Vita at this point. I really should. It was immaculate, Gino, when I got here. And I leave you alone for two minutes for the raffles. It's nice because they have, these are all donated items and you can raffle them off. Proceeds go to charity, goes to Extra Life. Always love to see these too. King and Colossus. Love, love, love to see these. Oh, they, they put it on the Tengen card because it's uh, Alien Syndrome, the hack. Nice and easy, nice and convenient. Just a way to play these on a physical cartridge, physical system. Another one you don't see come up too often. 20 bucks only. Ooh. What a deal. Monster Truck Rally, it's actually pretty cool. Oh, here's Action in New York. <laughs> Pal title there. I've never seen that one before. Coca-Cola Game Gear. Good Lord, the uh, the free play section is happening. It's popping. A lot of things happening here. A lot of people checking out some of these classic games. All consoles, all systems. There's so much to see, so much to play. And again, there's like free play stuff back there and they must be doing it. Let me, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, it's the cosplay. Lovely, lovely cosplay. This guy's cosplay is Pat. 
You weren't kidding when you said Mario Paint Contest last night. <laughs> we had a lot of good entries. Doing, doing, doing all of the, yeah, these are some really good ones. Didn't even know you could do that with Mario Paint. Uh, that's super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have Dunkin' here with the uh, pumpkin spice coffee and the mango pineapple refresher. Now, we don't have a Dunkin' in the Northwest, not even in anywhere in Washington State. I Very good. This game's called Jam Jam and Jelly. This looks insane. This is like... Ooh. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, it's really fun. Here's another version of it right here. Dude, my kind of game. Here's an indie game called Shred the Undead. Shred. Shred the Undead. That looks, looks pretty cool. My man Donovan here came all the way from the Netherlands to be here. Yeah. Good yeah. Lord. So what's going on in the Netherlands? Oh, there's someone else. There's someone else here. <laughs> uh, is this your first uh, expo ever? Have you been to a video game expo before or anything? Uh, I did a few expos, but not this one. Not this one, this, okay. This is, uh, this is new for me, first time. Okay, what, what have you found so far that's like super cool? Hey there. Nice you guys, man. Okay. You guys. <laughs> Wrong answer. I don't know. It's great to see, to see you guys in person. Oh, I love it. In, uh, like even it. in the Netherlands, we are, of course, have, have a lot of Dutch uh, streamers right. and YouTubers. But it's also I, I great to watch from the original American versions. I love it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, this is Rocket Panda. Oh, I see. That's that's the up arrow to uh, watch out for those. There's the key. Get through the door. A little flicky style. Through the door. Next stage. And away we are. Oh, I see a UFO in this stage. Watch out for the UFO. Come on, Rocket Panda. Love seeing these here, too. Ah. Oh. The shy? What's it doing? What? What's it doing? Hold on now. Don't give me the old shimmy. You don't give me the shimmy. I see a green we finally have. Let's check it out. All right. We have one. Eight. Not bad. I'll take eight. Joey from New York. Anthony from New Jersey. Got an Ohio up there now. Look at that. Look at that. Booth. Look at that one. Day two of Retro Game Con here with John St. John, my booth buddy over the weekend in Syracuse, New York. Beautiful area. To come back for a day two of Retro Game Con, it, it takes a little bit something extra, right? It just takes that something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Tylenol. Is that what it is? <laughs> it takes balls of steel, baby. You've seen the wrestling cruise. You've seen the kiss cruise. This is the King Con cruise. It is That's a right. convention on a cruise ship. Beautiful area, too. And every, everybody can be involved with this. Yeah, we bring voice actor guests along, like DC Douglas, Richard F. Carr, John Patrick Lowry, Ellen McClain. Oh, um, nice. Every year, I bring uh, my friends, uh, celebrity voice actors, along. And then we uh, interact with the attendees all week long, having dinner with them, doing adventures with them. It's a good time. It's a Monday through Friday cruise. And uh, we're going on year five now. It sounds like a live-action anime where you have all these character voices from all around you. And kind of does, like doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I have two video game voices to my credit, so maybe once I build up a little bit more, I'll join you on this thing. Oh, you know, yeah. So. We'll have to make you a guest. There we'll we go. Good time. I'll show you a good time, John. Uh, I, I, God. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> Not with this guy. I have a laminated video game advertisement. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's cereal. Covered in sugar. That's amazing. That's that's right on my alley. I did, yeah. and that's for that's for WarioWare. WarioWare Inc. That's oh, okay. All right. Yeah, because it was the uh, do-it-yourself kind of thing, you know. Ah, yeah. oh, it's too funny. I love it. Yeah, this is right up my alley. Thank you. I love it. Here's the uh, merch booth, and they have so many cool designs. I've always really enjoyed the designs at Retro Game Con. They've always done a wonderful thing. But they just did the best thing that you've ever seen in your life. You got the cereal. They made their own cereal. And look at that. They're all right. <laughs> and each one comes with a one-up card inside, too. Inside every box is here. Remember when cereal boxes had prizes inside? Well, this one has a one-up card inside for you. See, because they also do tabletop here, they also have their own uh, dice. I'm gonna have to buy some of these before I get out of here too. This is really cool stuff. It's like sketched, but like when you get closer, it's like really sketched. You know, has that kind of specific design to it. And I've been I've been busting him because yeah, because uh, I, oh, I I can't God. take any of the payment methods he has. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta look at this. Is that hilarious. Yeah. You're you're giving me explosive diarrhea. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Not the first time, but it, it's the first time I've given. It. Look at that smart looking shirt. I love it. And, that, and he has a shop, right? Yep, on Etsy. 
Oh, so this is his Etsy shop. Quick, uh, quick look at some of the other designs. Oh, I love the idea of using the um, the, the the series uh, yeah. logos from the black box titles. It's a good idea. idea. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> 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 We're just checking out and, you know, chilling. Who was the squirrel? Where's the? Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you going? Squirrel. Hi, squirrel. Oh. oh, okay. But because he's Freddie Parker, we're always going, don't stop me. <laughs> yeah. He is a positivity pack on that. He lives here. Very cute. That right there. There's a great looking cake. Is this where the cake was? Where's your cake? Uh, I, got, I got here too late. I saw everyone else eating cake. That's all right. You'll have to eat it for me vicariously. Has Wild Ball. Oh, yeah. Look up Wild Ball when you get it. Okay. Wild Ball. This is so, I mean, the fact that you're advertising that it has Wild Ball and the fact that you're using uh, Air Fortress for the uh, label there, even better. All right. I'll look up Wild Ball. Coffin Wallet. The Coffin Wallet. That's awesome. The video games in this section are $10, buy one, get one free. So basically, Five dollar games. Some good games for five dollars too. Wrath of the Black Manta, a Steinax. Karate Champ's always a fun one. Oh, a few more over there. A few more down there. The finished product. Come on now. <laughs> now if only you can like put in one of those like Build-A-Bear uh, sound chips when you push my skin, it'll actually start playing like the battle music or something like that. <laughs> Bring, <laughs> dun, 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 bring, bring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Looks awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at that. It's even, it's even sweating. And oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs>